you are welcome to this platform again. We are continuing with the same topic, optics, and the drawing red diagrams using varied object distances. In our previous lesson, we have learned the principles of drawing red diagrams, where the first one was saying all rays of light that are parallel and close to the principal axis after refraction, they converge at the focal point on the opposite side. For converging lens, for diverging lens, they appear to be coming from the converging at the focal point. Then we also learned that all rays that pass through the optical center of the lens go through and deviated or they are not refracted. Then the third was talking about all rays that pass through the focal point after refraction by the lens, they move parallel to the principal axis. And the diagram that we are seeing here, O is representing the optical center of the lens, F representing the focal point, and then C representing the center of curvature of the lens. So um, I want you to take time and uh, analyze one diagram at a time. You can see like diagram one, all rays which are parallel, they all converge at F2. For the second diagram, we have a, an object AB. We draw a ray, dab, a ray from the top part of the principal axis. After refraction, it converges at, uh, converges through focal point F. And then we have another ray from the top going through the optical center. And then where the two rays have to meet is where the image is. We can see that the image here is upright, the object is upright, the image is inverted. I want you to take your time and follow the same three principles that you learned and complete all these diagrams. You will have to go and draw them in your books and then each diagram that you complete, please go ahead and state the properties of the image that is being formed. If you look at diagram four, you have an object which is upright, A, B, and then the image is inverted the image is magnified. So you can see that that's one of the properties you can do for this. The last one is diagram six. You can see uh, we have a small object here, AB. It is between F and the optical center of the lens. And the final image is dotted. It is virtual, dotted, formed on the same side as the object. So it is virtual, it is magnified. Those are some of the properties that you can give then i give you quiz here you spend time and try out these examples in your notebooks discuss with your friends and then share your ideas to see if you have similar answers if you have varying answers please go ahead and find the reason why they are varying or you can see if you add more information in your book that was for convex lens you go to a converging lens, a diverging lens or concave lens. We have few diagrams here because however much we try to vary the object distance, we shall always have the same kind of image, having the same, the exact same properties. So we see, look at the first one. The, the object is, is this here and it is big. We draw a ray of light that is parallel the principal axis and then it is diverged away but appears to be coming from the focal point then we draw another ray from the top that goes through the optical center goes through and and deviated where the two rays meet you have the image here very small smaller than the object it is virtual and those are some of the properties that you can give it's the same diagram that you get even when you try to vary the object distance there is also quiz two here that you can try out by yourself in your notebooks and then try to compare your views and your ideas with your friend and then discuss.